G'day, Dan Hunter here. Just going to have a mini tutorial on looking at assignments and identifying keywords. So for this little exercise, I've got a mock assignment here, mock scenario. This is to do with the unit involving creating digital images. My first tip when approaching an assignment is to print it off and read through the assignment and highlight what you think is the key information. I'm not going to print it off here. I'm going to use Word and the highlighting tool. And I'm going to read through this workshop, Keep Pets. OK, so what I've got is Keep Pets is a local family run pet shop that was established over 40 years ago. Perhaps that 40 years ago might be important, as is the company logo. Sam has just bought the shop. The original logo shown on the right is still in use and is the silhouette of a cat, a dog and the company name. He wants to update the shop's image using digital media. So I'm guessing I've got to come up with a piece of digital image. They think, Sam thinks uh, it's an old fashioned image and to reflect the fact that now the shop is now a modern picture, modern picture, a modern business selling a wide range of pets and pet supplies. Sam doesn't wish to create the old logo and has asked you to create a new one. Uh, as well as this, Sam wants you to design additional artwork. So additional artwork using composite digital images that reflect the company's friendly service and aspects of the company's slogan, keep pets safe, healthy and fit. It's up to you to decide how many additional items you produce and what they are. You might choose to produce one or a complex uh, one complex item or a number of simpler. Uh, the digital artwork you design will be used in the shop and on the company's website. The artwork may need to be scaled up to a much larger side by a printing company. Right, that's it. So those are, I feel, are the key points. Now, I like to get those key points and um, I like them to put them into a document. So I've got them recorded. The good thing about working digitally is I can just copy and paste. And I'm kind of just creating a, a separate document here with key information. So I'm capturing the client's requirements. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to put them on the topic. So it's kind of like, who is the client? Okay. Another thing, what do I need to deliver? Another question. I need to deliver digital media. Uh, the shop is now modern business. So that's all about the client. Uh, I want to design additional artwork, the images, they saying that the company are, have a friendly service, so that's who the client is, and the company logo is keep pets safe, healthy and fit. What do I need to produce? One complex item. Oh, and simple items. Is it going to be used? Used in shop. And complete website. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm reading the scenario and I'm getting basically the client requirements. I'm finding about who the client is. Keep pets 40 years ago, modern business side or selling a wide range of pets and pet supplies, friendly service, and they've got a motto, keep pets safe, hit and felt and healthy and fit. So based on that, I can start brainstorming colors. I can start brainstorming ideas. Let's take, for instance, it's a modern business. So perhaps I want a font 
that showcases that. They sell a wide range of pets and pet supplies. So instead of just the usual cat and dog, what other creatures can I use? So it's really important you figure out who the client is. When it comes to what do I need to deliver? Well, these again are, are requirements. So I've got to use digital media. So that's going to tell me I'm going to use a certain application. What application am I going to use? Probably Photoshop. I've got to design additional artwork, composite images, uh, one item or a number a number of items i'm going to use them in the shop and the website so i'm getting an awful lot of information there now one of the key things to remember when doing an assignment is p make your point give an example explain it so i'm going to use photoshop why am i going to use photoshop it's industry standard give an explanation of why you're going to do it i'm going to come up with an uh a digital image okay well what type of digital images well, one for the website. Okay, well, that tells me a number of things. What file type am I going to use for a website? There are three to choose from. Why are you going to choose one over the other? This is also going to be used on uh, print. So that tells me as well, what size digital image am I going to make? Is it going to be a paper? Obviously, if it's on print, so it's going to be A4. That might be too small. A3? Yeah, might be. So set up Photoshop with those settings. If we go to Photoshop, currently it says to match the document type, clipboard, so whatever I've got in this computer's clipboard. But there's a little pull down option there where I can select international paper. Automatically, it gives me A4 and it tells me the dimensions. The great thing about Photoshop is it sets up the resolution directly for print. You're looking at 300 pixels per inch, dots per square inch, if you're looking to print. And that doesn't matter what size paper you print on. A6 is still uh, 300, A3. So make sure you choose the right setting and also demonstrate your understanding. Take a screenshot of this using snippets or another tool. Let's use alt and print screen, go into Word, paste the image in, there it is. I can put a caption on it and explain why you're seeing that. To get top marks, always back up your choices with definitions. I hope this has helped with your assignments. So the key thing is finishing off, read through the assignment, highlight what you believe the key terms are, and then arrange, brainstorm those key terms into, in this case, who the client is and what evidence do you need to deliver it. Then at the end, when you're evaluating for those really high marks, if you can demonstrate you've used digital media, if you can demonstrate you've completed a composite digital image and you've created one item that can be used in the shop and can be used as a company's websites, perhaps by photos or filming a website, that means you've hit that criteria. My name's Dan Hunter. I hope this has been useful for you. See ya.